It seems appropriate that we should conclude this first volume of Harness Racing Classics with a race considered one of the all-time great two-horse wars. It was the $50,000 Queensland Derby at Albion Park on the 27th of June, 1987. Rufus Youngblood, striving to become the first Australian pacer to ever win four derbies, had clashed twice previously with Gay Adam and held a 2-0 advantage. His supporters had their hearts in their mouths in the early stages when Gay Adam began brilliantly to take up the running, a role normally occupied by Rufus Youngblood. Miss Avril, and then True to Gamble, who's racing a bit wide on the outside of Fan the Fire. Resemblance getting back, then Chataway Boy, and Paladin drops towards the rear. Gay Adam's going to hold Rufus out. Lee's pulled the whip on Rufus Youngblood. Gay Adam and Rufus Youngblood, they're going crazy in the early stages of the race. They're about six lengths in front of the third horse. Lee's the first one to ease out of the speed battle he's going to drop him back 32.6 they're hot these leaders as they race to the top bend and it's gay adam the leader gay adam leads by almost two lengths in second place rufus youngblood followed by april charger moving up without cover it's riley a neck away third on the inside a length further back then to fan the fire over on the rails is miss avril true to gamble covering resemblance and then paladin and chat away boy here's the first quarter of the mile coming up they slowed in that one 31 they'd want to slow they went crazy in the early stages. Gay Adams the leader. Gay Adams a length in front. April charges second. Rufus Youngblood now in a pocket. He's locked away third on the inside. Followed by It's Riley. He was able to work off the rails there. It's Riley. Out deep on the track. Fan the fire. Miss Avril next on the inside. Then True to Gamble. Third last the rails is Resemblance. And then Paladin and Chataway Boy last of all. 8.50 metres to go. Gay Adams the leader. A length in front. Rufus Youngblood right up on his back in second place. Second quarter of the flying mile. 32.1. Gay Adam takes him to the tea trees. A length and a half in front. Rufus Youngblood still on his back in a pocket as April Charger is a head away third on the outside. A length then to its Riley who's got the drop on them. Over on the inside is Miss Avril. Then Fan the Fire feeling the pinch. Resemblance true to Gamble. Then Chataway Boy and Paladin is last. Gay Adam in front. 450 metres to go. Rufus Youngblood is clear now. He's coming after Gay Adam. They're well clear of Miss Avril. One galloped in the run. It's Riley. Drop back very very quickly, April Charger running fourth. They head towards the home turn, third quarter of the mile, 30.9. They've got 300 metres to go. This is what we've been waiting for. Gay Adam the inside, Rufus Youngblood the outside. They're locked together. Rufus Youngblood has moved up. He's poked his nose in front. Rufus Youngblood just in front of Gay Adam. They're fighting it out. Rufus Youngblood the outside. Gay Adam kicking again the inside. Rufus Youngblood, Gay Adam. It's going to be a ding-dong if they hit it. Dead heat. Dead heat between Rufus Youngblood and Gay Adam. They straighted the rest of the field. 15 lengths away third was Miss Avril. Followed in by Paladin, April Charger. Then Resemblance, Chataway Boy, True to Gamble. And the last one home is Fan the Fire. Who's won it? Who's won it? Both of them should win it. Great performances by two great three-year-olds. Rufus Youngblood and Gay Adam. Boy, what a finish!